Welcome to the Fox's Den. I'm Roxanne. This is the kitchen segment and today we are going to prepare turkey burgers and they are bunless. Of course, I do have little buns here that you could put on. You could put them on, but since I'm gluten free, I'm going to be using pickles, which is like our family obsession, except for my brother-in-law, so he might be using the buns. This is my father's recipe and I would have him in the kitchen helping, but he is loving up the Kentucky Derby. That's a whole other story, but he'll be visiting with us soon. So I'm gonna start off with ground turkey. Now, of course, this recipe is great for ground beef as well, but we're gonna start off with ground turkey. It's a pound, I have it in the bowl. And to it, I'm going to add a half a cup of breadcrumbs. So for every pound of ground turkey meat, we always use a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Bread crumbs. Mine are gluten free. I think I've said this before, I get mine at a place called Conti's. I live in South Jersey. A hop and a skip away from where they are. They're like in Buna. We call it Buna. The rest of the world, I think, calls it Buena. But they're somewhere in Buna. <laughs> if you look it up, I believe it is Wheat Road. Is it Wheat Road? I think it's Wheat Road. I think so. Okay. To that, we are going to add a fourth a cup of Italian cheese. I'm using Asiago. You could use Parmesan. You can use La Catella, whatever it is. But please don't use the kind in the can. I never even knew that existed until I went to a friend's house and my mother was all about manners and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And it was terrible. Don't use it in a can. Please go and get it already graded at your local market. I mean, ShopRite, everybody has it. But I'm a little distracted, I'm sorry, because my neighbors are not that close, but they're doing something outside near my property and it keeps distracting me. I apologize. Anyway, fourth cup of grated cheese. To that we add one egg. I know these eggs seem extra large, it's just that I get them from a farm and they're extra large today. And in here I have a mixture of black pepper, no salt because I feel the cheese has enough salt in it, but if you like salt you can add it, but then there's going to be the saltiness of the brine from the pickle. In here I have ground pepper, black pepper, uh, toasted onion powder and a toasted garlic powder, both of which I get in a large container from Bagliani's, which is here in Hamilton. I know you've heard me talk about them, but you can get powdered onion powder in, and anywhere, even at the dollar store, but I love ours. It's delicious. I don't have exact measurements only because you just have to do it to taste. If I were guessing, that whole thing is like a little handful and I'm going to put it in. See it? Okay. I might sneeze. Pepper makes me sneeze. Then we mix it up and we form it into, my dad makes meatballs with these even and he fries them up in a pan in the morning for breakfast. Oh my gosh, they're delicious. And he also makes, um, he makes hamburgers. But we're going to mix this and then what we're going to do is make it into small little balls so we can pat them down to make like a little mini hamburger and we're going to grill them in my indoor grill. You can do the outdoor grill, that's fine. So I'll be taking you over to the stove and you will see these grill up and then we will assemble them. Once the turkey mixture has been rolled, you then place them directly onto a hot grill. Next, using a spatula, you can press them down into mini patties. You can hear the sizzle. I have an indoor grill, and I just brushed it with a little olive oil. Actually, I massaged it with a little olive oil. And the turkey burgers are grilling up nicely. Ooh, can't wait to assemble them for you. Okay, so the turkey burgers have been grilled and you can assemble these any way you would like with ketchup, mustard, whatever. I am not, but one of the things I wanted to tell you was one, the pickle chips do pat them dry to take off any excess brine. And we are using Campari tomatoes because I'm a South Jersey girl and Jersey has the best tomatoes ever and it is not tomato season. So Campari's work in a pinch, but if it were the summer and our Roma tomatoes or our plum tomatoes were, you know, being harvested and you could pick them up at the uh, markets, 
please do that. Okay, so here we go. I try to get them to match up because you can see they're a little on the oval side. They have the round, but I got the oval and they match up in size. And as you can see, these two match up in size. So not that we want to play with our food. You put on right on top, you put on the turkey burger, a little tomato, a little bit of lettuce, and I'm adding a little slice of avocado, and then the pickle top. And there is your little sandwich. I will do an up close for you. I'm going to assemble the rest of these, and then I will let you see what it looks like up close. Look how beautiful. Now, of course, you can eat these with little mini buns, but these are gluten free. Try them, they're delicious. Try them, they're really delicious. Don't take my word for it, try it out yourself. You can reach us at www.fromthefoxesden.com, no apostrophe between the X and the S. Yes, I know, that's the English teacher in me. You can also reach us on Instagram and Twitter, from the den on Twitter, and from the Fox's Den on Instagram. Follow us, like, comment, share, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I look forward to hearing from you. We all look forward to hearing from you. Have a good day, bye.